sample mounting for SEM, powdered samples. This video is brought to you by the Electron Microscope Unit at the University of New South Wales Mark Wainwright Analytical Centre, a node of the Microscopy Australia network. By powdered sample, we mean a sample composed of many fine, dry particles of material with dimensions in the micron scale. Examples include starch, sand, and pollen. When mounting powdered samples for SEM, our main goals are to secure the sample particles to the SEM stub so that they do not move during SEM examination, and to ensure the negative charge generated by the electron beam has a pathway away from the surface of the particles to the conductive adhesive and stub base. To achieve this, the powder particles must be spread as thinly and evenly across the adhesive as possible in order to maximize the conductivity of the sample. If the particles are piled on top of each other, it is likely that there will be problems with imaging and analysis due to poor conductivity and poor sample adhesion. Materials. A very small amount of the powdered sample, a tenth of a gram is more than enough. A small SEM stub, double-sided adhesive. At the EMU, we provide users with double-sided conductive carbon dots. A small spatula, a fine permanent marker, gloves, foil or low lint lab tissue, and a SEM sample storage box. Additional materials you may find useful include scissors, tweezers or forceps, a stub lifter, and a pin stub holder. Preparation. Step one, put on gloves. Always keep fingerprints off anything that will go into the SEM chamber, such as stubs and samples. Step two, Choose a stub compatible with the SEM you will be using. Small SEM stubs available through the UNSW EMU currently include 12.6 mm pin stubs and 15 mm screw thread base stubs. Step 3. Label your SEM stub with the sample name or ID code. Step 4. Place one side of the double-sided adhesive onto the SEM stub. Remove the protective film to expose the surface of the double-sided adhesive. Step five. Using a clean, small spatula, sprinkle a very small amount of the powdered sample onto the adhesive. Step six. Gently spread the particles across the adhesive using the back of the spatula. Step seven. Spread a clean piece of foil or low lint lab tissue on the bench top. Step eight. Firmly tap the side of the SEM stub onto the foil so that any loose particles fall off the stub. Step 9. Place the mounted sample in a secure SEM storage box. Keep samples stored in a clean, dry environment. 